a large number of Muslims, if this question was posed to them, they would give the wrong answer that goes against what the Quran established and what the Prophet brought. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And they would say that Allah is everywhere. And what they mean by that, Allah is really everywhere and not explaining it. Allah is here with us and so forth and so on. And that's the wrong answer. In the Quran, there are seven ayat, seven, showing that it's been repeated so many times. Seven ayat describing to us where Allah is in the same way that he subhanahu wa ta'ala is mustawin ala al-arsh. He said in the Quran subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allahu alladhi khalaqa samawati wal arda wa ma baynahuma fi sittati ayamin thumma stawa ala al-arsh. It is Allah, your Lord, Allah, is the one who created the heavens and he created the earth and then he went above his throne. Another way, another tariqah that we know that Allah Azawajal is above his throne is the word in Arabic which is al fawqiya That ayat of the Quran and a hadith, many, they describe that, the, that Allah Azawajal is above. Ayat. He said about himself, Allah is Al Qahir, your Abdul Qahir. I'm Abdul Qahir. From his names is he is Al Qahir, the one who is mighty. He is dominant. He said that he is Al Qahir and he is above his creation. He's above his servants. In addition to that, there are many ayat and a hadith. Quranic ayat that describe the su'ud, that the things go up to Allah. Our deeds, our actions, our dua, the malaika, Jibreel, they go up to Allah Azawajal. All of those ayat that talk about the inzal and the tanzil and the nazul, all of those ayat that talk about things coming down, they are points and indications that Allah is above. Isa is going to come down. Allah said in the Quran, Inna fi Laylatul Qadr. We revealed this book and send it down in Laylatul Qadr. Although Allah Azawajal is above the seven heavens and He's over His throne in a way that befits His Majesty, He nonetheless is still with us. He established that in the Quran. Kuntum. He is with you wherever you go. You fly a plane, he's with you. Go in a submarine, he's with you. You awake, he's with you. If you're asleep, he's with you. If you go into the cave, he's with you. Wallahu ma sabirin. Inna Allah ma al muttaqin. Inna Allah ma al ladin al taqo. Allah is with those who have sabr. He's with those who have a taqwa. Allah is with everyone, but he's with the people. How? He's with the people in his ability to see from where he is. He's with the people in his ability to hear. He's with the people in his ability of the knowledge, the powerful knowledge that he has. As for me, I want to be on the way. I'm speaking of what you should say. I want to be on the way of the people of Alul Hadith, starting off with the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu He asked the little girl Sallallahu Alaihi hey little girl, where is Allah? The little girl said, over the heavens. She had no philosophy, no philosophical approach. Who am I, little girl? She said, you're Rasulullah. He told the man, free this girl. She's a believer. She's a mu'mina. The one who knows that and understands that, that's part of the aqidah of a person who has correct iman. Another thing, when you're in sajda and you're saying, Subhana Rabbi al-A'la, Subhana Rabbi al-A'la, you have your head on the ground. And you're saying glory to Allah, the Most High, Al-A'la. That's from the proofs and the dalil that Bani Adam is going to be humble and put his head on the ground to establish the abudi of Allah, the servitude. We are slaves to Allah, who is above the seven heavens, over his throne.